Gavin, this is the first time we've spoken since the Brona fight. Tell me, how do you find it over there? Long and boring, but, you know, um, it's all part of being on uh, the big stage in America. It was a big fight for me to be involved and obviously disappointed with uh, the result. But, you know, he's obviously a great talent and he was obviously too good for me on the night. And was it a tough atmosphere? It looked like you were walking to the Lions then. Um, but as Gary Lockett said just now in the press conference, when you left the ring, everyone was applauding you. Yeah, it wasn't so much a lion tank. A lot of the Americans dislike him, to be honest. But um, he's obviously a big attraction over there. He's obviously great inside the ring. He just he lets himself outside the ring down a little bit. I was going to ask that. How did you see him uh, off camera? Did he seem different, or is it or is it not an act? Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, didn't really get to see him a lot after the fight. Uh, went in, shook his hand before he left the arena. No, was about it. He still he still had his cockiness about him. But that's just himself all over. I think. He showed, he showed again exact, exactly the same with Paul Neymar and Arji. We're fighting in a few weeks, the same attitude. No respect for nobody. And, I mean, we're, we're used to a bit of trash talk, talk in boxing, but I gather you took, thought he went a bit far, a bit over the top. Well, he doesn't speak any sense. It's all trash talk, everything he says. But that's not taking nothing away. He's a great talent and a brilliant inside the ring. And he's a top, top fighter. Um... Uh, I mean, would you have done anything differently if we go back just before, you know, yeah. a few weeks? Run away. <laughs> really? No, of course not. I, I would get in here again. You know, obviously, you know, I was confident of winning the fight. Uh, the first two rounds were okay, but he's a massive puncher for lightweight. He's a massive guy for the other weight. He just, like I say, he beat me nine times, probably ten times out of ten anyway, so there's no arguments there. But, you know, of course I'd fight him again. I'm a fighter. I don't really care. If I win, I'll give 110% every time. But like I say, very surprised how good he is, and he's, I really believe he's the next big star. And uh, were you happy with the way Gary stopped it, uh, uh, retiring you? Well, you know, I would carry on to them not no cold, but, you know, I guess the course would prove um, probably a bit beneficial. I was straight back in the gym on the, the Wednesday, the Thursday's training. Maybe if I'd been knocked out cold, I probably wouldn't have been so eager to come back in the gym. And yeah, I'm headlining another show, top of the bill against another great opponent, Andy Crawler. So. You know, I was never ever going to win the fight. You know, I was getting it with big shots. So he done the right thing with at the time. You know, I'm a, I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. I want to go on my shield. If I was not there, I didn't care. I just wanted to carry on fighting. But like I said, I was never going to win. So he done the right thing. And I mean, it cat- catapulted you into international recognition, especially in the states. Um, has it changed anything? Uh, have you got more fans from America or offers from over yeah, there? Maybe I have a few tweets on Twitter, but you know, it doesn't change my perspective on my career. Still training hard, I was training hard anyway. Like I say, straight back in the gym after the fight, back down to the nitty gritty, trying to improve my style and just getting on with it. You were 33 in May, just gone. Um, happy birthday for that, I missed it. What are looking up <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you think there's another world title shot on the horizon for you? Okay, of course, people already mentioned it, you know, obviously I'm not looking past Anthony. For me, I am winning this fight and is, um, he brings me touted about. So, of course, I can see there's another world title. Um, i got a good rank in most of the bodies, so. You know, when they sent the Cornell, WBO ranked in the top 10, I think, or top 15. So, of course, I can see it, yeah, but um, that's where we both want to be, me and Anthony. So, we're both going to bring 110% on the night and make the best man win. I'm confident of the victory, so looking forward to it. And is this talk of you targeting Ricky Burns true? I'm not targeting nobody, you know, as he's, um, <coughs> they, everyone's shouting the name of, do you want to fight him? You know, that's what happened to Anthony. He said, do you want to fight him? Of course, he's going to say, yeah, who wouldn't want to fight a world champion? Um, a fellow Brit and be a great um, me and against him would be a great atmosphere, a great fight, great night. So of course, both of us are going to say yes. Yeah, not me, we shouting him out. Not me, we chasing him. You know, we, uh, we had Ricky Burns in our corner a few times. We also sparred with um, oh, Billy Nelson. We had in the corner, sorry, and then um, obviously sparred with Billy, um, Ricky a few times. We know him well. He's a nice lad. We know looking for him, but he's got the belt, so that's why we both chase him. And talking about Crawler, uh, what type of what type of fight do you predict between you two? Oh, great fight. I think he's um, been in some great fights lately with Dave Matthews, too. He lost one and a drawed one. That was a great fight when they drawed. Could have went either way. Uh, he's a decent, uh, good boxer. Likes to move around. Nice eye guard. So, pure technical fight, I think. And do you feel any pressure uh, that you maybe have to perform really well as a comeback fight after your loss to Broner? Well, like I say, training's gotten great. Um, I think I'm going to put on a great performance. I know I am. I'm grit and weight's down good, so I won't be no more weight drained of this fight. Like I say, straight back in the gym. I'm fully confident to put on a great display on two weeks' time. I will get myself back to the top of the tree. And do you think you've had a good enough sparring to prepare yourself for someone like uh, Anthony with a good with a good jab? 
I'll be spying for, for a couple of months now. I was doing a spying with Maxi, um, Maxi Hughes, who boxed Carl, done 10 rounds about two months ago. I'll be spying um, two welterweights in the gym and a, and a middleweight. So, you know, there's not many lightweights who'd like to come spar with me, to be honest. So I got fight, I got to spar with the bigger boys just to get the rounds in. It's just the way it goes. And uh, uh, you've got one of your one of your stable mates, Dale Evans, fighting in as well on the yeah, night. Yeah, so I've been with, yeah, a few times, yeah. Uh, done really well in prize fighting he's gonna come out now i think put a good display on this and get himself on on the circuit people start to notice who he is and he's a very good prospect and uh two weeks after the 29th we've got the whole show where uh derry matthews one of your old foes takes on a uh, uh coil tommy sorry tommy coil um <laughs> thank you very much uh, well help me out here predict a winner for me I, I, it's hard for me to say. I've um, obviously seen Derry live. I've never even seen him. No I've never seen him box, Tommy Kyle. So I can't really pick a winner. Obviously, I think Derry's he's coming on quite well. I, I, I'll pick him, but like I say, I haven't seen Tommy box, so it's hard for me to say. You tell me who's going to win. Let's see your prediction. Uh, I'm not in the business of predicting, Gav. Come on, do that. <laughs> no, you Let's can't see do that. Predict <laughs> 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 All right, I'll call it a draw. <laughs> Eddie loves a draw. Sitting on the fence. <laughs> well, 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 listen, you seem like you're in a great spirit, so you're not, you're not too down after, after that loss. No, of course I'm not by being down, you know. It was nice to box on a, on a big stage in America. I'm like, yeah, back here now and I'm fully confident of the victory. And get back to that stage again, it'd be nice. Well, great to see you again, Gavin. No Best problem. of luck, mate. Cheers.